hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the best features and some important tips for your Redmi 4. As it's running MIUI OS, you can find almost all the features on all the Xiaomi phones. I try to add the interesting stuff at the start and put all the boring stuff at the end. So let me know if I missed out on anything else. Now let's get started. The worst thing about MIUI is its horrible memory management. It simply kills all the apps running in the background. It is horrible, but there is still hope. In developer options, you can turn off memory optimization. Doing that will definitely improve the user experience. I have even disabled MIUI optimization. I don't know if you should, but doing that didn't have any bad effect. By the way, every time you do that, you have to restart your phone. So do note that. When you're on the lock screen, touch and hold the home button and it turns on the flash for a second. If you want to keep it on, press the power button once. If you want to turn it off, press the power button once again. It is really a very handy feature. Unlike many other phones, we can tweak some things about the screenshots. You can normally take a screenshot by pressing the volume down button and power button both at the same time. And apart from that, we have three finger screenshot. If you are lazy like me to press the buttons to take a screenshot, you can swipe down with three fingers to take a screenshot. Next, we can take long screenshots. Just take a screenshot and press this button. It will start scrolling the screen. Once it's done, it will stitch it up and give you a long screenshot. And finally, we can disable the sound every time we take a screenshot. We have a mode called reading mode, which puts a warm tint on the screen to protect your eyes by filtering blue light. Xiaomi phones or MIUI is one of the few OS that offers this feature with automation. You can turn it on at a specific time or based on the app that you're using. This is definitely not a feature. It's just something you need to know. For some crazy reason, Xiaomi chose to put the screen on time setting in lock screen settings where everyone else keeps them. So if you want to change the display screen on time, you need to come here. Just like the Redmi Note 4, we have a fingerprint scanner on the back. It's fast and accurate at unlocking the phone. And besides unlocking the phone, you can use it to take pictures on stock camera app. Just touch the fingerprint scanner to take pictures. Next, we have an app lock built into the system. Go to the app lock and settings to configure it. And once you're done, you can unlock an app using your fingerprint scanner. And finally, you can use the fingerprint scanner to authenticate transactions on Play Store and apps like Paytm. Next, we have a vault built into the system to hide any files you want. Just open the file manager and swipe it down. Then it gives you the option to set a password. And later, you can do the same to access hidden files. To hide files, just select a file and go to menu and select hide. Just like the vault, we have the option to hide messages. Open the stock messaging app and drag it down to access the hidden message section. From here, you can hide messages and do all those crazy stuff. By the way, vault and messaging app have the same password. Did you know that we can end calls using the power button? It's very useful for people who have recently started using a smartphone as they forget to end calls or have a hard time pressing the end button. You can enable the option from the accessibility settings. In advanced settings, we have a lot of options to tweak the capacitor buttons. You can change their placements, you can change the long press behavior or individual buttons. We can even disable them automatically for specific apps. Once again, we are back to the stock messaging app. One of the coolest feature of this app is you can schedule message to be sent at a specific date and time, just like this. I don't see any people sending messages these days, but that might come in handy to send birthday wishes to someone automatically at a specific time. For all the camera junkies out there, you can quickly launch the camera app when your device is logged by pressing the volume down button twice. To enable this feature, go to the lock screen settings. MIUI, like all the Chinese ROMs, allows you to change the default apps for everything. Just go to Installed Apps and Settings and then select Default Apps. From here, you can change the default launcher, default messaging app, default browser and so on. Just like in an iPhone, we have a floating bubble with some quick shortcuts and gestures. You can find this feature in Advanced Settings. You can touch the bubble to pop up additional settings and swipe it quickly to perform an action. This can come in handy if you have smaller hands or if the capacitor buttons stop working. For some reason, if you think Redmi 4 has a huge screen, you can shrink it down by swiping capacitor buttons to left or right, starting from the home button. Do it again to exit the mode. 
If you use MIUI stock music player and want to tweak the equalizer to your preference, just go to the advanced settings and sound. From here you can do that. If you have Xiaomi earphones, from here you can choose specific profile to further improve the audio experience. No matter how many times you close apps or kill apps, some apps start automatically in the background, say like Flipkart, Amazon, UC browser, and they end up draining battery. So from this setting page, you can disable them from auto starting in the background and thereby improving battery life. Xiaomi has this feature called dual apps, which allows you to use two instances of the same app. So you can use two WhatsApp accounts and two Facebook accounts and so on on a single phone. Once you have enabled this feature for a specific app, you can find two different app icons for the same app if you are using the stock launcher. If you are using a different launcher like Nova, then every time you open an app, it will ask you to choose between the two apps. I don't know about others, but I like to automatically record all the calls. So if you are interested in such a thing, you can enable auto call recording in call settings. MIUI offers additional options to tweak individual apps to further improve battery life. Like you can completely stop applications from running in the background once you leave an app. You can do stuff like that from the battery settings. It might help, but usually its effects are not easily visible. Next we have a feature called secondary space. This feature creates a small box kind of a thing in your phone where you can have different accounts, different set of apps, different contacts and so on. It is like having two phones in a single phone. But considering the specs of this phone, I'll say don't use this feature. If you don't like the new layout of toggles in MIUI 8, you can change it to the old style from these settings. By the way, at the same place, you can choose to show battery percentage and network usage on the status bar. If you like to tweak the look and feel of your phone, MIUI is one of the best ROMs for that. We have thousands of themes which fit perfectly to your preference. My personal favorite is the Dark Legacy. Just in case if you didn't know or if you have missed it, on the top we have the IR Blaster. We can use the MI Remote app that comes pre-installed on your phone to control TV, AC or anything which has a remote. If you already have a Xiaomi phone and want to transfer all your data from the old phone to the new phone, this feature is very useful. On the lock screen, there is a button on the top right corner of the screen, press that and swipe the lock screen left or right to change the wallpapers. You have additional settings at the bottom to automate this process. In backup and reset settings, we have the option to backup everything on your phone along with user data. This feature is really handy when you have to reset your phone and quickly take a backup of everything. The best thing is that you can restore all these apps with just click of a button. This feature is like the share it app but just for the Xiaomi phones. You need to enable MI drop on both the phones and then share any data using this feature. There are a lot of other stuff like light mode, child mode and mini mode. But I hope I was able to cover most important ones. Now for some quick tips, 2GB of RAM is really low. So if you have any important apps that you don't want to get killed, you can log them from the recent apps page. Press the recent apps button and slide the app down. It will get logged and won't be killed. You can do the same to unlock it. So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, complaints, compliments or want me to make any specific video, shout out to me by commenting below this video and I'll try to make it as soon as possible. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.